the narrow gauge railway love Halloween. They also love hearing Sir Handel's spooky stories. And they say that every Halloween, Smudger's ghost returns to the Scarlet Railway. Haunting the line, whistling with a scary whistle, and laughing with his maniacal laugh. will come back and he will get his revenge on you. Rubbish! He won't come back! Huh, little scallywag. Just then, Mr. Percival arrived. Sir Handel, Duke, I would like you two to double-head a goods train to Croven's Gate. Yes, yes sir. sir, the two engines said. The two engines soon arrived at the yards. Careful the ghost doesn't get you, Sir Handel said. Ha! Rush! Smudger will never come back. Oh, but he will because it's Halloween. And Halloween is the time of ghosts. Oh, will you shut up, Falcon? And then two engines set off. Huh, Sir Handel thinking that I'm scared of Smudger's ghost. Rubbish! Oh, but we might see him. Oh, shut up already, Falcon! But then it happened. As they were going through a forest, Thick fog came. The line was covered in a blanket of thick fog. Wait, I see something. What's that? Called Sir Handel. It was a sign that said, Beware of the ghost. The driver was confused. What do you mean, beware the ghost? He said. Best if we go on. So the two engines went on. What's that? Called Duke. An old tree mysteriously fell to the ground. Sir Handel was confused. I I didn't see anyone cutting it. Then. Sir Handel and Duke noticed an old light. The light went on and off. What, 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 what's happening? said Sir Handel. But then they heard a whistle that made Duke shiver. No, no, no! I recognize that whistle. Th 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 that could only mean one thing. Then they heard a voice. And it Falcon. You have something very important to me tonight. And its name is Death. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I, I recognize that voice. No, no. It cannot. Then suddenly, out of the thick fog, came a silhouette, but not just any silhouette, the ghost of 
Smudger. Just then, Smudger approached. He went closer and closer and closer, and eventually stopped at Sahara's bones. Well, two. Yes, I am drunk, but is it just for Halloween? And yet, I'm gonna get my revenge on you, Dookie. I'm going to get my revenge on you. said Duke, and they immediately went away. Oh, so you're scared of me. Then come back later. Mr. Percival was in bed when he got the call. It was from Duke's driver telling him about the events that night. What? said Mr. Percival. So you've just seen a ghost, eh? What? It's Smudger's ghost? Oh dear. We'll talk about this in the morning. But for now, take Duke and Sir Handel back to the sheds. Scar Lowy will take the train. The next morning, Sir Handel and Duke told the other engines what they had seen that night. Ha! Rubbish! said Duncan. That must have just been a hallucination. No, no, it was not a hallucination. It, it just not, it, it was not, it couldn't have been, said Sir Handel. <sighs> Indeed, shivered Duke. It, I swear, it was not a hallucination. We heard it. We saw it. Good morning, engines, said Mr. Percival. Good morning, sir, said Reneus. I heard him that you two wanted to speak to me about what you saw last night. Yes, we did, said Sir Handel's fireman and told them everything. Oh, dear, said Mr. Percival. Do you think anyone's going to believe that you two have just seen a ghost? No. No, said Sir Handel's driver. There's no way anyone is going to believe that we've just seen a ghost. I mean, seriously, who would believe that they had just seen a ghost of an engine that had died over 90 years ago? I see, said Mr. Percival. Later that evening, Mr. Percival spoke to Sir Handel and Duke. Sir Handel and Duke, he said, I would like you two to take another goods train tonight. He said, uh, Yes, sir, said Sir Handel. Yes, sir, said Duke. The journey went smoothly. But then they saw the sign again. Here we go, said Duke. Then the same strange things happened again. But then, as they approached the same area they had found Smudger's ghost, they heard his voice again. Oh, so you've come back, have you? Come on, God damn it! show yourself! Oh, so you want to do this face to face, do you now? Yes, we do, Bella to handle. Then out of the fog 
smudger appeared. Yes, indeed. It's me. I'm going to give you the revenge I never got when I was alive. Oh, shut up, you piece of crap. managed to get out just in time. But Sir Handel's and Duke's crews 
had severe injuries. But then, Sir Handel realized something. Wait, 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 wait a minute, he said. I just realized something. If Smudger is an actual ghost, then he wouldn't have crashed into our mess, he said. He, he would have just vanished away. Come to think of it, Falcon, said Duke. When we saw Smudger's ghost, he didn't really look like a ghost. He looked like an engine. That's because this was a prank. I'm not Smudger's ghost. Wait a minute, said Sir Handel. Well, Smudger wasn't Scottish. That could only mean one thing. Duncan! Yeah. Yes, it's me. But it was all Peter Sam's idea. But just one question, said Sir Handel. How were you able to create all those spooky things? Yeah, like the tree falling to the ground, added Duke. Well, said Duncan. My driver is a fast man, so he acted quickly. So quickly that he didn't hear him cutting the tree. And what about the spooky voice? asked Duke. I'll tell you. My driver had a voice changer, so he was the one who spoke. And I tried to talk in the same rhythm as him. Le pretty clever, ain't it? And just so that you know, the workman painted me green so that I could look accurate to the real smudger. Sir Handel and Duke were furious. You are a jerk, Sir Handel shouted. How could you do this to us? Yeah, said Scarlowy. Because of you, you caused this terrible accident. And scared the life out of us, added in Duke. And not to mention they probably killed or severely injured a person or two. Or more, said Sir Handel. Soon, Peter Sam arrived with the breakdown train in several trucks to take all the engines that had been involved in the accident to the works. He also brought along a very stern Mr. Percival. He was furious. Peter, Sam, and Duncan, he said sternly, your little prank has caused confusion and delay. There has been severe damage and several people have been severely injured. Sorry, sir, said Peter, Sam. Yeah, sorry. Once the handle Duke and Duncan have been repaired, you shall be kept in the yard for a week and a half. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. And Peter Sam pulled all the engines to the works. While at the works, Peter Sam and Duncan apologized. We're very sorry for playing that prank on you, Sir Handel and Duke. Peter Sam said, yeah, sorry, said Duncan. We forgive you, said Duke, but please never play that prank again. Fair enough, said Peter Sam. After that, everything went back to normal for the Scarlowy Railway. But with that said, however, I still think that Smudger's actual ghost really exists. Watching the other engines as they go about. What do you think?